Spoiler alert, spoiler alert, 2 1. Spoiler alert, spoiler alert, 2 1. section one for the clue one today is saturday the 15th i finished it yesterday morning before i went to work um and so today i'm gonna start clue two I'm really excited because i get to introduce my accent color so my thoughts on getting clue one was kind of um I thought it was really annoying because basically these loops, they're knit like this and then you braid them together. And so there's a lot of cast on. Now that you've cast on, you're gonna bind back off again. And so it's cast on, bind off, cast on, bind off. And it really slows you down. And so It's really beautiful, and Steven is a genius for doing this, but I really hope he doesn't torture us like that again, because, you know, I find, I found that to be quite annoying. The other thing that I found to be a little bit annoying is that in Clue 2, which I'm not going to give anything away about Clue 2, um, there are four sections in Clue 2, so we get section 2, 3, 4, 5. That's all I'm gonna say, um, because I don't want to spoil it for you guys, but um, basically in the Clue 2 PDF, there's a picture of what section two and three look like. Um, and that's because there's a diagram showing where you need to pick stitches up for certain sections. And I think that's really annoying. I think you should have just said refer to the video if you want to see it. Because guess what? You have to see a spoiler in order to knit it. And I am trying to do it as a mystery. So I found that to be a little annoying that there's a picture of part of the clue in the PDF. Now I don't know what the whole clue looks like. But that one part is in the PDF because there's a diagram showing where you need to pick stitches up. So I found that to be a little annoying. But other than that, you know what? I think, you know, Clue 1 looks really cool. And um, at the end of the Clue 1 video, Steven said, I don't know, are we gonna do something with these loops or are we going to leave them hanging? I don't know. And so yesterday before I went to work, Steven went live on Instagram with Barbara Knit, which is Linda. She is his test knit coordinator. Um, which if you're wondering, Irina over at Fiber Chats interviewed her. You can go watch that. Um, but yeah, Stephen went live with her on Instagram, on the West Knits Instagram page. And if you missed that, you can go watch it not live because he put that up. So you can watch it later. Um, anyways, it was more or less a QA and a about Clue 2. Um, and so I put a question in there as, and he didn't spoil anything, but I put a question in there as, are we going to somehow secure these loops? Because my fear is that if we don't and I wear it, it will like drop back down. So if you know what I mean because these are more or less like giant live stitches because you pick this up like you would a drop stitch. Yeah. So, um, and so he was like, okay, I got you. Um, there'll be something, but 
my understanding is that we don't so secure those down in clue two at all. But you know what Steven was like? He was like, I enjoyed looping them so much that honestly when they drop down as you're knitting it, you just get to do it again. That's what he was saying. But yeah, so um but I really hope that we get to secure these down because otherwise I'm just afraid it will fall apart when I'm trying to wear it. You know? So but yeah, so he hopefully will do something in either clue three or clue four. Um, so, yeah, I don't need to know what. I just need to know that there'll be something because it's driving me nuts. Because it's more or less like giant live stitches, like I mentioned earlier. And we don't want live stitches on our knitting when we're wearing it. Yeah. So. But yeah. So, as you can see, I obviously got my color craving done. I will talk about that in my upcoming episode, my podcast episode coming out at the beginning of November. So, look forward to that, and I'll talk more about it. But other than that, this is Clue 1. I will be back when Clue 2 is done. So, I'm not going to make another video until Clue 2 is done. So, if I finish Clue 2 late, then the video will be late. Okay? So, anyways, I'm going to go start Clue 2 now. So, I'm Andrew. Thank you for checking in here at the Neon Knitter, and I will see you in the next video.